Today is another exciting day today for me. Um, it's another day for magic paint. We were trying to get to this concrete last fall before the winter came on and, and made it impossible to get it poured. And we spent a little time getting it prepped, got the spot footings uh, prepared and everything ready to form up. And we couldn't get concrete in the right timing with the weather as it came. So we weren't able to get it done. We're hitting it earlier this year, trying to make sure we can get some concrete around the perimeter of the shop um, before the weather turns sour on us. If we can get the concrete in place with footings in, and there's nothing keeping us from framing up the lean-to covers over the winter. We had it all set for 10 foot of gap between the wall and the posts on this front porch. And that was going to be just fine, uh, but the more I thought about it and the more that we've been around the space, I think I'm going to push that out to 12 feet. So I've buried in the other holes and I've kind of just cleaned up the space here. I pulled any of the stuff out of here that we had stored here and, and bladed it off just to kind of pull initially grub it a little bit. I'm going to come out here and mark my approximate concrete edge which will be 12 foot from wall to post plus the thickness of the post and the remaining thickness of the footing so i'm going to go 13 feet the surface prep isn't my focus today however my focus today is going to be doing this boulder wall my plan was to put a boulder retainer in here along this to make sure that the elevations could stay put I don't know exactly how many boulders I have at my disposal right now. They're all over the place. The hard part is getting them to the location I'm using them. Just beyond the shop, on another little access point, I know I've got at least a dozen or so boulders that I dug out when I made a road cut that I can grab. And they're only about 300 feet out on the road here from the, from the shop. I'm gonna go get the excavator drive it out to the far point there and see if I can scrounge up two, three dozen boulders. Time to get started moving boulders.
Well, I am working on trying to finish up this boulder wall and I found the boulders I was fishing out earlier are just not quite big enough. And I got a whole bunch down here that I've been digging out a little bit over time. And I've got at least four or five that are really big and about eight or 10 that are pretty dang good sized that I wanna bring up before using the others up at the top. So I am gonna get my truck hooked up to the flatbed and bring the flatbed out and unload the beams and the poles that we bought at the salvage yard a few weeks back. I'm gonna unload them in the driveway down here. And then I'm gonna load these big boulders on that flatbed trailer and tow them up. That way I'm not making trip after trip back and forth one boulder at a time where it's gotta go a thousand feet up the road. So it'll save me a lot of effort. Well, it didn't feel like 20,000 pounds like it does when I'm hauling the excavator. But it's got to be it's got to be 15 to 18 at least.
I got quite a bit of that done. I got all the big ones. All the little filler rocks are still on the back. I'm gonna unload those. Every time I'm fitting these boulders, I'm just trying to work with their shape, find the right rock of the group that fits the space the best, and just piece them together like a jigsaw puzzle. That way they make a nice tight wall and sit together nicely. And I think it looks more natural that way. I just like the look of it a lot better that way. That's how it's looking so far. We gotta come up still another, about a foot and a half in elevation here, but I got quite a few filler rocks on the back of the trailer there. Um, I call them filler rocks because they look huge, but they just don't add up to much when it comes to a wall like this. But they work great for topping out. So I've got a handful that are pretty flat, maybe six inches at the skinniest up to 10 or 12 inches. And they stack in along this top and they fill in these voids to give a nice tight finish. You can see on this one here, this is all set at a pretty good flat elevation. But this is my elevation I'm gaining to. So I'm going to have a filler down in here that will bring this elevation right along here. And be able to stab a few of these skinnier and fatter ones right in there to carry that elevation across the top of these and set back just a little bit farther and fill in between and keystone that. Fills in nicely and just gets a nice finished layer to the top of that. Just eyesighting it, it's still going to be about a foot below the top of concrete, which is pretty ideal for what I'm looking for. I'm going to have a foot worth of nice, good, organic, clean soil to put back on top to get it up to the top of concrete and that will slope out here to these boulders and then crown and just have a nice crown slope. So what's gonna happen for watershed is that cap will have a slope like this and it'll come down to the face of the boulders so that it allows the watershed to come off the front of the boulders instead of soaking in behind the boulders. That'll also give us a nice depth in here for the vegetation for our beautification to work out. As big as these boulders are, they were able to go quite vertical. So I was able to gain quite a bit of distance from the shop. You can see out here that we are plus about four feet. Now I'm still gonna be back here uh, a ways from away from that with my footing and that footing will go down right here where it needs to go down is about another four and a half feet down to the native soil in this location. So I'll make sure that that footer gets augered down into the native and then we'll put a sauna tube to bring the footing up to the elevation we need for the backfill. With this boulder wall in place, I don't have to worry about augering the hole and having the face of it slough away and fall away and having it just get loose and be loose. Now I've got it all set in here, so it's going to go down and not have to worry about it falling away. Now I just have to do that same thing about three more times. <laughs> it's coming along, coming along.
That looks like a whole bunch of boulders. But really, it's just a ton of little rocks. <laughs> I'm betting that pile won't even do from the transition to maybe here. And still a whole bunch there that needs to be done. I'll probably go down, back down to the bottom. We got that one other giant one. And a handful that are at least as big as the medium and big of this pile. So probably get one more load down from there and then just set everything and see how it looks. Well, that was heavy. I did get up here with it, but I had to hook onto the front of the truck with the excavator for a double drag just to be able to get up because there's a spot or two that's a little steep. Couldn't keep enough traction on the tires of the truck to be able to pull the weight of the trailer. And that feels about the same as when I have the excavator loaded on and I'm driving, so. Probably 20,000 pounds of boulders on there this time. <laughs> that ought to be enough boulders to finish up this wall. These little guys I'll use as filler still, but I've got some pretty hefty ones on there that I'll be able to come down here and start the rest of this and hopefully wrap this up pretty quick.
All right, that's pretty well done. I have a couple spots in here where I'd like a little guy and a couple more little ones, one or two here, maybe two or three little ones or a big one, a little one there. Just little spot fillers in some of there. But for the purpose that I need right now, it's done. I like it. I'm happy with it. There's plenty of little cavities that I can fill in. Spaces like this. That I can add compost and mulch into those holes. And I'll put climbing plants into there. Things like creeping thyme or phlox or... I don't know. Whatever we want to put in there just to beautify the face of the wall. Put some nice plants in some of there. Maybe even some strawberries, a few things like that. Things that like to take root and cascade down. So we've got plenty of spaces for those to fill in. Right now it's filled up with native feel and it's compacted in pretty well. This still needs to come up a ways to get ready for concrete. And along the edge here it's still pretty low. You can see that down here like this, you can see it dips quite a bit in here along the boulder edge. But I'm going to fill that with topsoil and mulch compost. Once we have the concrete in, I'll pile it up high and crown it off. And that way we have a nice planting bed. But for now, I can get moving to spot footings and concrete so we'll come out here mark and drill our holes for the spot footings establish our concrete form down the edge so that we get this lined up and have everything prepared then i'll fill that with gravel to bring it up to the bottom of the forms and compaction and have it ready to go so that we can pour the concrete 